This is Davy McCauley, <laughs> an old friend from my past. How are you doing, Davy? I'm fine. It's good to see you, Derek. Well, good to see you, sir. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a long time. Uh, how's <laughs> how's away these days? Ah, oh, Storno is the same as ever, man. Good or bad? Or indifferent? Oh, up and down. Up like and down. Ourselves, eh? This is Dennis. He's going to show us the bikes he's restored in his shed. Hey, Derek. Here we go. Come on in, and I will show you. We have two bikes here, Derek. First one here, a 1958 Triumph 3 unit 650 Cavio Racer. Very nice. I rebuilt last year. It cost me a lot of money. All the parts are just about new, 90% brand new parts on it. It cost me an awful lot of money. The speedometer itself is worth about £400. Just for the speedo alone. Running perfect condition, as you can see. Classic, worth a lot of money, five thousand pound maybe, maybe even more. You see there is, you will remember yourself in your own biking days, a Kawasaki 600 GTZR. Now we stored that as well, two years ago. Running perfect order, in condition. The only one of its type on the island, as far as I'm aware, anyway. Yeah. That's probably a collector's as well now, collector's piece. I don't have room for a third one, if I did I would get a third one, but I don't have room for a third one, so... Maybe I should for them to make it a third one and do a third one. Make it a loot. Here I am on the ferry, the Isle of Lewis ferry sailing from Stornoway to Oliver after my brief stint in Stornoway. Hello, my name is uh, David Murray. I come from a place called Greenock in Scotland. I work for an, or an organisation called SASRA, Soldiers and Airmen Scripture Readers Association. And for the next couple of minutes, I'd like to tell you about my conversion. In September 1997, I was a drunken, thieving, lying adulterer. And on a weekend of the 27th of September 1997, I was hill walking with a group of friends. And when I was halfway up a mountain, up at one of the five sister ranges, I, uh, I felt God challenging me on all the things that I'd done. And the guilt that I felt over the past years and all my, my sins and all the things, all the bad things that I'd done in my life really came and, uh, and broke me. And the only way I can describe uh, this feeling that I had is that God somehow wrung me out that day. I don't know if that is a good description or not, but he, he, wrung, he wrung all the, all, all the guilt that I'd felt over these years. And when I came off the mountain, I phoned my wife, who'd been a Christian for two years. She explained to me what had happened to me that day, that word conviction, which I had never heard before. So that next day, which was the Sunday, I went to uh, the Salvation Army in Port Glasgow. And that was the first day that I'd ever heard the gospel message. It was from Matthew 7, where Jesus, Jesus explains the, the broad and the narrow way. 
and that was the first time I'd ever heard that I was on the Broadway. And when I heard that I was going to hell, if I'd kept on that Broadway that night, then I didn't want to go to hell. So it was explained to me what the Broadway was, that many are going to hell. It was explained that Jesus is on the narrow way, and I wanted Jesus that night. And on the 27th of September 1997, in the Salvation Army in Port Glasgow, I came off the Broadway and onto the narrow way. And uh, that was the night I was converted. Here he finds. <laughs> Oh!